Hey guys, awesome BMX here. Welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption Online video. Today we're going over a couple of pretty sweet pamphlets that we unlocked right around level 60 that we're at right now, and we are super excited. If you guys take a look at our progress over at Rank Unlocks, you can see we just got to level 62, but at, I believe, 58? No, I think it's 57. We unlocked... Yes, Poison Arrow Pamphlet. That's great. Poison Arrows. That sounds pretty awesome. And then at 60, I believe, Fire Arrow Pamphlet. That's right, Fire Arrows. We're going to go pick up both of those, see what you need to do to be able to make them, and then see how cool they are. Let's head over to the fence right over here and check those out. Alright gang, as you can see, we were really close over here to the Rhodes uh, fence. Let's see what he's got for us to buy. Let's head on in. Just shoot over to documents so we can look at them all. We should have a couple down here. Fire arrow pamphlet and poison arrow pamphlet. Now together, those are over a thousand dollars we don't even have those you can use gold though to buy them so we're gonna do that because we've purchased some gold here so we're able to show you guys some of this cool stuff that came out with the update so let's buy both of these I haven't even looked at how much it is for gold let's see 28 gold that is quite a lot geez that's that's like five bucks that's actually that's like ten dollars if you buy not the pack how much is this one 18 all right, we're gonna do it though, because we want to show you guys this awesome stuff. Poison arrow pamphlet and fire arrow pamphlet. There we go. That took a lot of gold. Jeez. Either that or it have been a, over a thousand dollars. Well, our camp's right over here. We're probably gonna need stuff for it. Let's read them right now, so because we might need some stuff before we go to camp. So let's go into your satchel. Should be able to go over to, actually it probably was right there in recents. Go to documents. Let's do fire arrow pamphlet first. Here it is. Pretty easy. We need an arrow, a feather, and animal fat. Really, that's it? Let's see. Judiciously over an arrow shaft with animal fat, attach additional feather, carefully store and quiver, do not dally when aiming or you will cause damage to your bow or hand so you gotta be quick with it all right when hunting at night or attempting to dismantle the homes of varmints hornets or any manner of foe the use of fire arrows is especially useful so we need animal fat and feathers so we need to get some of the boars over here and some birds let's see next we have a next one now let's go we should have poison arrow. Poison arrows, we need arrow, feather, and Orlander plant. Okay, we need to go find some of that then. So we're going to find this stuff real quick, head over to our camp, and then go ahead and make some of this stuff and see how cool it is. Got some ducks. Whole herd of ducks. Oh man, I got the wrong gun out though, but that's okay. We just need feathers. All right, we got a few here, a few ducks here. That's good, jeez. There was like two dozen ducks right there. That was crazy, I didn't have my varmint rifle out and ready. That's all right though, we just need feathers. Let's get these things plucked up real quick and keep looking for some boars. They should be right here in this area. Man, that was a lot of ducks. I wonder if you can use any feathers too. If flight feathers work too? This just says feather. So can I use flight feathers to do it? That's a good reason to keep flight feathers then, because they're not worth very much, right? We'll have to see when we get over to camp. Ooh. Did I just see that you get animal fat off of ducks? I did not know that. I thought that was just off of boars. Learn something new every day, guys. Let's watch this. Flight feathers. Duck feathers. Game meat. Animal fat. Well, we can just go duck hunting then. 
That's all we need is a whole bunch of ducks. Do you get us off, off any birds? Let's uh, get our vomit rifle out. There's another bird. Let's try that one. So you might just need to kill a whole bunch of birds to make these arrows, which would be super easy to do, actually. We got a raven here. Let's see what we get from this guy. And I did look at my satchel and I have Orlander Sage. Orlander Sage. So it is Orlander Sage that you need, I'm pretty sure. We get fat off this guy? You don't. Okay. But ducks you do. Remember that, guys. You get animal fat off of ducks. I wish I would have shot more of them then. I didn't think I needed to shoot more. Let me look for some more ducks. They're usually easier to find than... I don't even care about that raven. You don't get animal fat off there. Only off of ducks. Maybe like geese probably too. Let's head over by camp and see if we can see any more ducks. Right, game. We made it back to camp. We got a, enough stuff to make a few arrows, so let's take a look. And it's night, but hey, what better time to use fire arrows in a night, right? Jump into crafting. Let's head over to... should be weapons, I imagine. Or maybe not hunting? Uh, let's see... show all. It's not hunting or... Where would this be at? Tonics. Ammo. That's probably ammo. Yeah, it probably is. Fire. We don't have poison. All we need... One arrow, one Orlando Sage, and one Flight Feather. We have that. Well, we already carry in eight poison arrows because we got them for free from the... Everybody got them for free in this update. <laughs> but now we can make our own. Pretty easy. One arrow, one Orlando Sage. Orlando. Or Orlan... It's... What is that? Olander and o o Olander? Olander Sage? <laughs> and one Flight Feather. So f don't sell your Flight Feathers now. Flight Feathers are barely worth anything, but you can use them to make these super sweet arrows. Let's at least make four of these real quick. For sure. Let's see. That was it? That was easy. Craft another one? Let me see. Get an arrow. Alright, put some... We put some fat on it, I guess. Stick it back in our side waist pocket. There we go. Alright. That was super easy. Should be super easy to make the poison ones too. We already have some though. Maybe we should... We can still test those out. Is that... Let's get our ding bone arrow off gingerbread, right? Let's see. If we get our bow out... Now we have... Poison arrows. Fire arrows. And one dynamite arrow. I think we picked that up from somewhere. Poison arrow, fire arrow, and one dynamite arrow. These poison arrows, do they just do they work for hunting? Let's see. Regular arrow does about two and a half. Poison arrow does not much more damage. It's a little bit more damage, not much. Fire arrow though, look at that damage jump up. You think that'll affect an animal though? Let's try. Oh, there it is. See it? See the fire on our end of our arrow? That's pretty awesome. Let's see if we can find a animal and shoot it with this fire arrow and see if it affects its pelt condition. There's a whole bunch here. There's a two star. We're on him. Alright, we took him out. Now the grass is on fire. Uh, actually, the, the deer's on fire. <laughs> we got roasted venison just like that. In one shot. Super easy. He's a one star now. Of course, he was on fire. <laughs> so the fire arrows are not good for hunting. Look, at he's cooked. and <laughs> We cooked him. We gotta put this guy on gingerbread. Oh, come on. Get gingerbread over here. Put this thing away real quick. We can pick this guy up. We have a cooked deer now. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. 
So don't go hunting with fire arrows. Because you'll have roasted venison. Which is good, but hey, it's not good for keeping the uh, condition up. Let's see. These things burn stuff pretty good. What can we go? Let's go try to shoot this barn over here. To catch things on fire from pretty far away. Like if there's somebody in that barn right there. And it's a little bit of a fire, right? Not huge. And the fire goes out pretty well in this game mode, in this game, you know. Definitely is burning. Definitely is burning. Not sure how well they work on players. Is there an NPC? I guess we can go in town real quick and give it a shot. For science, right? This is for science. For YouTube science. So that gives us permission to go shoot some innocent person with a fire arrow, right? We're not normally a bad guy. Although we have a $3.84 bounty. There, let's see what these guys want to do. Should we shoot this guy right here? Yep. Oh, this guy's going to kill us now. Oh, now this guy's on fire. Jeez. That's crazy. Alright guys, first signs. We kind of got in some trouble in roads. We got killed. Set some fires. So here's the verdict. Poison arrow pamphlet. It's only worth 400 It costs $435. Easy to make. Not much damage change. Probably not worth it. Fire arrows cost $700 to buy the pamphlet or 28 gold. Still super easy to make. You could just kill ducks and have the stuff you need to make fire arrows. As long as you have arrows. Super fun to use. Super high damage. I want to try a mountain PvP at some point. Maybe we'll do that down the road. But hey, I think it's worth it. You can make the choice yourself. But super fun fire arrows. I would highly recommend getting those. They're super fun. Hey, if you guys liked the video, make sure to hit like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope to see you out on the prairie sometime. But until then, see you later.